So the work I'm presenting is uh, the work of uh, Work Package 11 within the CData, Net, uh, CData Cloud project. And it's a collaboration among different institutes and different uh, uh, work packages within the project. So the work package is focused on data products. And uh, what we want to uh, reach is to provide uh, the best data products from CData Net Data infrastructure and regional and at regional and global scale to serve diverse uh, user communities from operational oceanography, climate, and uh, academia, but also institu institutional users. So we have different products that are aggregated data sets uh, for the regional seas, European and regional seas. We have climatologies. And we inserted new products because we want to uh, investigate a new kind of product that could blend in situ data with satellite and uh, with uh, different multidisciplinary products and also ocean monitoring indicators to track changes in the, in the ocean. So this is the quality control uh, strategy that has been implemented within CData Net 2 project. And uh, it's a strategy that, uh, of course, links the different national data center uh, through the central CDI. What we do is to harvest all the data uh, within the infrastructure. And then we do a, fi a file and parameter aggregation. Then what we do is to split the data collection, the big data collection, into regions. And the regional uh, coordinators, regional leaders, are doing the quality check, quality control on the regional collections. So they need a really an expertise on the regional basin in order to succeed in this. So you see that uh, we have Copernicus uh, uh, logo in this uh, QC uh, box, uh, and uh, because this part has been also done in collaboration with NC to talk, and uh, what we do in at the end of the quality check is to uh, prepare a list of data anomalies. And what is interesting in this loop is that uh, we feedback all the data anomalies to the national data center, to the data center data providers, and we ask for checking and we ask to uh, change the, the data, the original data, and resubmit them to, through the central CDI. In this way, we increase the quality of the infrastructure, the content of the infrastructure, and then we can have different version of the data products that we derive. And so what we did is to do this loop for four times. And what is presenting today is the, four, the results of the fourth loop of this uh, strategy. What we apply during the quality control uh, are common guidelines. What is done is done through the uh, ODB uh, software. Uh, and we uh, use a common best practices, so uh, spatial data distribution, temporal data distribution, quality flag statistics, uh, scatter plots, gross range check. We analyze the data that has not been checked uh, in the primary quality control at the data center level. And then we do visual check in order to identify spikes, outliers, a station on lands, and uh, wrong and missing data in, within the measurements. We do also stability check. We have example uh, on, the, on the side of the, of the Mediterranean. So you have the distribution in spice and time. And you see that we count the percentage of data, temperature, and salinity, and couples. And also we provide uh, percentages of data flagged as good, not flagged, uh, not checked, or flagged as bad. And we have a very good percentage of good data. Then we uh, introduce some specific checks per area, per layer, per time periods, and instrument type. You have uh, the Mediterranean example that has been divided in uh, sub 18 actually regions because the 18th uh, is the Marmara Sea. We have distribution of the, the count of, of uh, stations for each region. We have uh, uh, the temperature and salinity scatter diagrams uh, with uh, the depth in color uh, in order to uh, show to the users what is the distribution. And this is helping us to, to find anomalies. We have 
different layers. So we do the, the diagrams for different layers because we know that there are different water masses flowing around the Mediterranean in these particular layers. We do also scatter plots of temperature and salinity in some key layers, key depth. We introduced uh, now uh, a data, uh, metadata analysis. Uh, and uh, what has been done is uh, to uh, do statistics by data distributors and data originators and uh, filtering uh, through the IDMO code that identified the uh, data provider, we could detect uh, systematic errors from the data providers in terms of formats or bad flagging. And another type of statistics was very helpful helpful, that is the instrument type, because we want to, 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 to reach a consistency among, among different instrument type of observation. So we started uh, counting the percentage of data belonging to different instruments, and we found that only, this is the Mediterranean case, only 3% of data don't have an instrument type information. And this was useful also to detect data omissions. So we found that, for example, XPT data within the infrastructure was missing, comparing to the Medarmed Atlas, so this is really good because uh, to be in contact with the data provider through the statistics of who is originating the kind of data, we could unlock more data or we could ask for missing data. Another um, uh, metadata that is important is the probe, the probe type. For XPTs, we have heard that we have biases and in order to correct the data, we need to know the probe. And now we have 46% of missing probe description and information. And so, again, contacting and be linked to the data provider, we asked to ingest more metadata if they are available, because if we don't do that now, the data and the information is lost and the data is useless, okay? So this was very good exercise in order to improve all the quality of the infrastructure. And here you have statistics uh, that compare to the previous version of these data products, of these data collections. And so we have in green all the percentages of data that has been increased uh, with respect to 2015. So the results was that data population per Cbasin show a progressive increase of available data. The data quality improved thanks to the introduction of additional checks. The quality check statistics are very good with high percentages of good and probably good data. And the metadata statistic about the data distributor highlighted systematic errors and allowed to monitor the EU the uh, data sharing landscape also, that is important. And for the instrument type, this uh, uh, analysis of the data types can highlight some uh, metadata and data uh, omissions. We introduced uh, an important step, uh, which is uh, the product information document. So we uh, decided to attach to, these, to each data product a, an information document to document about uh, the characteristics of format, space-time data coverage, resolution, quality, product usability, which is very important. So we recommend how to use the data, what are the problems related to that collection, so the user is aware of, uh, of that. And uh, each PDAC has a DOA, and it's available through the landing page of the product. This is a big effort to produce and revise and publish. I mean, it was a big effort to, to, to publish and revise all the documentation, but it's a, a major uh, improvement to increase uh, the user confidence and the product uptake. Here are some slides and screenshots to, 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 to document, to, to help you to reach the, the products. So you can go to the web page of CDataNet, Data Cloud, and if you click on the tab of products, you can reach uh, uh, the aggregated data sets and the catalog. And uh, uh, for climatologists and documentation, we'll still have the, the previous version. And uh, what you, if you click on the data sets, you go on the catalog and put in, uh, in the search of CData Cloud, you get all the six uh, the, uh, regional collections. 
looking one collection, you have a button to download the data, a button uh, that uh, opens the land page where you can also find a, a PDAG. You have all the how to cite instruction, and uh, you have also a, um, a button to have the, the download. And uh, also, we inserted a visualization button. So if you click there, you open the Ocean Browser, Oceanotron application, and allows you to select the different depth, and the, you, you can see the different observation. So conclusion, the introduction of the PDOX represented a very good progress. The publication of the data collections uh, are now finalizing, uh, finalized uh, with the, uh, a data set paper, and uh, we would like, we are thinking to submit uh, a, a ocean best practice for uh, the quality check strategy. Uh, the metadata analysis will be extended to all the regional seas for the next uh, QC loop, and uh, uh, hunting of uh, data omission will be intensified. The QC analysis per data type will continue to assure data consistency, and the integration with external data sets, it's, it's now ongoing. So we want to integrate because now the next milestone is to produce a regional climate and global climatologies. So we want to merge with the World Ocean Database 2018 and Copernicus in situ TAC. And the next step is to move all this activity on the cloud environment. So CData Cloud is implementing a cloud environment, a virtual search environment so we will be the beta tester of this cloud environment. So we are going to do this and replicate all this effort on the cloud in order to provide a good service to the users. So thank you very much, and thank you to the contributors.